As I begin this project, there's a kind of stepping back that's required to map what's going on in representations of Asian Americans in the media. And so I attend a lot of film festivals and look around online at the large number of Asian Americans who are using the internet to represent themselves and the particularity of their stories and experiences, and they do it really well. They're, Asian Americans are some of the most popular media authors on YouTube, for example. When you look at these images, they really show regular Asian American people who are mixing with other kinds of Americans, and you see a kind of new normalcy, whether it's, you know, the availability of food that becomes an American staple, even though it's Vietnamese pho, you know. Um, so there's a certain kind of new reality that is captured in the various friendships and the humor that's represented there that feels really fresh and confident about their experiences as Americans. They show that American experiences have always been transnational. You know, that they always involve immigrant people and uh, people who come from different places who then transform what American you know, means. It's hard to separate racial and gendered analysis, but what unifies my first book, The Hypersexuality of Race, and my second book, Straight Jacket Sexualities, is a focus on Asian American experience and then asserting that there are very different gendered experiences that comprise that very already challenging identification of a group anyway. This, when I articulate Asian American, I'm always very conscious that there are so many different groups that are being forced to live under that sign, and they don't necessarily fit under that sign, but it's a very convenient category in order to address the problems that are putting pressure on these particular groups of people. So it's a limited but very useful category of analysis. My filmmaking and my academic work really embrace each other as enterprises. What's similar about them is that both require knowledge about what literatures, what films precede the work that I'm making now and what kind of intervention I want to make and what kind of original argument I want to present. And this is something that I try to teach my students, both my film students, my film production students, and my traditional scholarly students when, when they're writing or they're making films. So there has to be something unique in their intervention, something new in terms of changing the way we perceive an issue or offering us a better understanding of a problem that we think we already know how to solve.